Ethan stood on the threshold of time, his senses reeling from the disorienting transition. As the temporal current settled, he found himself standing on a vast expanse of golden sand beneath a scorching sun. Before him lay the mighty Nile River, which wound its way through the landscape, its waters a lifeline for the civilization that thrived along its banks. The grandeur of Egypt lay sprawled before him. Towering pyramids reached for the heavens, their polished limestone surfaces gleaming like beacons of power. Bustling cities that bustled with activity, their marketplaces alive with vibrant colors of textiles and spices. But it was the grandeur of the mighty city of Thebes that truly captured his attention, its towering temples and palaces forming a testament to the pinnacle of human achievement. As Ethan took in the sights and sounds, the alien nature of his surroundings struck him. The attire of the people passing by, their customs, and the unfamiliar tongue they spoke all reminded him that he was indeed a stranger in this distant era. He needed to be cautious to blend in and avoid drawing undue attention to himself. With an instinct honed by survival, Ethan wrapped a cloth around his head to shield himself from the relentless sun and draped a simple garment over his modern clothing, mimicking the style of the time as closely as he could. He ventured into the city, his heart a mixture of excitement and apprehension as he sought to understand the intricacies of this ancient world. Ethan's wanderings led him to a bustling market square where vendors hawked their wares and the chatter of bartering filled the air. Among the throngs of people, he caught sight of a young boy who appeared to be around 10 years old. The boy's eyes met Ethan's with a curious glint, as if sensing a kindred spirit from a distant place. Without a word, the boy beckoned him to follow. Ethan trailed the boy through the narrow alleys and labyrinth passages of the city, all the while marveling at the vivid mosaics that adorned the walls and the breathtaking architecture that surrounded him. Eventually, they arrived at a grand palace with towering columns and elaborate carvings depicting scenes of conquest and glory. The boy led Ethan through the palace's opulent corridors until they reached a lavish chamber where an imposing figure sat upon a golden throne. Adorned with regal attire and a crown that bore the weight of authority, this was the pharaoh a ruler who held dominion over a vast empire and whose word was law. Ethan's heart raced as he found himself in the presence of such power and history. He cast his eyes downward, a gesture of respect for the ruler of this time. The young boy who had guided him spoke in the melodious tones of the ancient Egyptian tongue, recounting their unexpected encounter and the journey Ethan had undertaken. The pharaoh regarded Ethan with a mix of curiosity and skepticism. You are not of this time, he proclaimed in a voice that resonated with authority. Tell me, traveler, who are you and from whence do you come? Ethan took a deep breath, his mind racing as he tried to formulate a response that would be both truthful and prudent. Great pharaoh, he began, his voice measured. I am a wanderer from a distant land, drawn here by a force I cannot fully comprehend. I seek only to learn and to understand the greatness of your kingdom. The pharaoh's piercing gaze studied Ethan for a moment before he leaned back on his throne. Curiosity can be both a gift and a curse, he mused. You are fortunate that you find me in a benevolent mood. I shall grant you the opportunity to prove your worth. 
The boy who had led Ethan to the furrow stepped forward, his eyes shining with a mixture of determination and intrigue. He speaks the truth, my lord, the boy said. There is a sincerity in his words that I can sense. Ethan's heart swelled with gratitude as he realized that the young boy's trust could be his saving grace. The pharaoh gestured toward a scroll that lay upon an intricately carved table. A task awaits you, he declared. If you succeed, your place in history shall be secured. Ethan's journey through time had brought him face to face with a challenge he could never have anticipated. The sands of ancient Egypt held both danger and allure, and as he contemplated the task set before him, he knew that he was on the cusp of an adventure that would test his mettle, reshape his destiny, and forge bonds that transcended the boundaries of time itself. 